coming up in Ms. Tastic. anytime hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home perfect for families and classrooms today we're going to learn all about oceans so oceans make up uh, around 70% of the earth earth's surface so that means 70% of the earth's surface is actually covered by oceans and scientists have actually divided the ocean into different sections so you might have the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean the arctic ocean but it's all part of one big ocean that we have well scientists have divided up into different sections to help us understand our planet and navigate it a little easier as well oceans are very important they're a very valuable resource uh, ocean water, of course, is salty, but millions of different species of creatures actually live in the oceans. Did you know that about one million different species live in the oceans? It's true. And some of the planet's smallest creatures live in those oceans. Now let's take a look at the different levels of the ocean floor. So the ocean floor has different levels. There is the continental shelf, which is the shallowest part of the ocean. Then there are the basins, which are very deep parts. And then in the very, very, very deep parts, we call those the trenches. And they are the big cracks in the ocean floor. All right, we're going to head on over to the art studio where we're going to be drawing a cute sea turtle. And then we're going to make some coral reef art. Let's make some art. Let's draw our cute sea turtle. I'm gonna draw a curving line with two curves on the side and connect at the bottom with a big line. We'll draw one leg and another. Put the back one a little bit bigger. Curving line up and over on the top and the bottom. Curving line for a captain that we can barely see with some little toes. A little tail.
darker green for the shell. I like to leave a little bit of white on the top for highlights. with tamper paint and wax crayons. Let's grab blue wax crayons. I'm gonna add a wavy line along the bottom. Let's get our continental shelf going here. Nice shallow bottom. Now we'll add some coral layers. Just using some wavy lines. And then we'll add a couple kelp, just with some wavy lines or shapes. Okay, let's add a curving line that comes under, skips past those kelp out to the back. And we'll come back in nice and narrow so it looks like a tail. And we're gonna go here, and we're gonna stop. So here we're gonna come up with a curving line, back down. We're going to make a manta ray. And we'll draw a curving line up, over, and connect down here. And then we'll have our manta ray wing coming up on the other side. It's going to curve the opposite direction. And then we'll add a little belly with a nice curving line. Blue. And connect along the tail. Little eyes. Smile. So cute! Alright, what else? Can add some coral down here. And then we're ready to paint. Let's paint the background. watercolor. We'll paint the matory with either purple or brown. I'm 
gonna use uh, just a little bit of yellow mixed with white for the belly color. Do the underside of the fins. We'll start painting the coral in varieties of colors. I'm not even bothering with rinsing my brush between because I'm actually going to use it to let it mix naturally to make other colors. I think it makes it look really nice to get some really interesting effects. Bigger brown. I'm gonna make some dots to make some texture in the ground. Oops, it's purple. We're just going to add the yellow again around the coral. And then we can add even 
and some yellow on one half of coral. Get a little bit of black and add it along the belly and separations or to shade the manatee. And just like that, your ocean artwork is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and tag me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.